hey guys welcome to another video key life trading and today we're going to be talking about scanners and before i jump into the topic guys please like and subscribe smash that like button and leave a comment sprinkle some love on my channel thank you now let's jump into it so today we're going to be talking about scanners you know as a day trader even when I was starting, I always had the question, and people were asking the question now, how do we find the stocks that we trade? And we're talking about the free version, right? So the, way, the, the answer to that question is very easy. We use scanners, and the scanners that majority of people use, there's multiple different scanners. So it's not just one set scanner that people use to find stocks to trade. But one of the most known scanners that we use is called Finviz. Before I jump into this, if you guys did not know, they have all types of scanners. They got the free ones, they have the paid subscription, and they have the web scanner, which is Finviz. And also, if you didn't know, your trading platform should come with a scanner. And this is my scanner. Nothing's populating now because it's in the morning time. But I have my daily scanner, my gap scanner, and my momentum scanner right lined up. And you can tweak these based on your criteria, however you you feel like tweaking it. But back to topic, Finviz. So for me now, I use Finviz in two different ways. I use it for continuation plays. And I use it to look for stocks that might be creating a pattern, any type of pattern that I use. So for me now, I'll come over here. And this what it, this generates is basically the plays that basically perform very well the previous day. And what I do is I'll hover over them. And one thing I like about Finviz is that the box, when you hover over the ticker, a box generate and show you basically a visual visual aspect of the stock and what I do is I use this for continuation play and the continuation play if you guys do not know basically to wrap it up in a nutshell is basically to look at use a, you know trade a stock that had a previous good run the previous day and looking to ride that momentum on the current day looking for it to go or break higher break or ride go higher this current day and that's what I use this part for and if I see something that run up very strong I'll click it and look through the criteria, and then I'll put it on my watch list and see if it breaks the high of that previous day to basically continue that run of that day well, of the current day but anyways so back to the scanner if you want to find stocks that can help or you know give you the edge or you know that might give you a good chance to have a strong day like these we go to the screener right here click the screener and these are where you put the criteria that you're looking for. So for me now, I always look for stocks that are $10 and under. Some people might say $10 is not $10 is not really um penny stock, but for me that's my price range that I'm okay with. I also change the float. Float is basically and if you want, you know, you hover over it and the float give you I mean, when you hover the, over the name, it gives it generates the, the definition or what it means. So say the float is the number of stocks, shares that are available for trading to the public. This does not, doesn't include shares held by insider. So to make it quick and simple, basically the stock, the, sh um, the shares that are available for the open market to trade. I like to put at least 20 million under 20 million because if you have less of a product 
and if there is a high demand for it price will rise and go higher so this is why you always want a low float because the less item or product you have and then you get a catalyst which bump up the you know the demand of that product people are willing to pay high price for it and because you know you're basically playing the game of supply and demand if you have low um if you have lo low supply and high demand the price will ramp up so price under ten dollars float under 20 mil and you can tune it however you want to but for me my taste is under 20 million I like to have average volume at where is it over actually no where is it right here over 100 1 million sorry not 100 million 1 million because you want to have a stock with high volume because you know that there's a lot of people trading it so when you have a lot of volume going through that means you can trade it will be easier for you to get in and out of a position that you might take and they say average volume let's say is average number of shares traded in the security per day so that's one um, one million and what else and you could do this current volume over one million I like doing that to show that there's people tra trading it trading it and it, it makes it easier for you to get in and out of that position if need be and let me see if I'm missing anything and no that's really about it and another thing you can do to make it easy for you is click this button right here chart and what it will do is populate a bunch of boxes with each stock and you can look at them visually and see if you see anything that you like so for example now let's use this as example let's see if I find anything I like here and keynote even though you see there's not right here see my mouse total amount of stocks it shows 19 stocks that was generated this stuff fluctuate every single day based on how the stock market perform and how each stock perform so don't think because with these criteria that I put in it's gonna always be 19 or always fluctuate it could be 5 tomorrow it could be 100 tomorrow and it's based on how the price of the market how the market went or how each stock perform and if they fit these criteria then it will generate just to clear that out so let's use this one. This one looked perfectly fine for me. So when I find the stock that look visually appealing, eye appealing to me, I'll click it, MOSY. And remember, as day traders, we don't care about the name of the stock or what the stock does. There's a little bit of little, little technicals that we care about, but it's not like balance sheets, cash flow we don't pay attention to none of that the only thing that we really pay attention to is if a stock is volatile the short float the share float sorry and what this is like I said if there's a low amount of product or item and there's high demand based on news you will get that big ramp up like these days this one it opened up at 274 and it went to a high of 498 you'll get it like this day this day this day so we look at the sheer float it have to be low and the lower it is the better then we look at the average volume 4 million even better that's showing you that a lot of people trade this stocks 4.6 million people trade the stock on a daily on a regular on an average and we also we look at the relative volume we always want a relative volume over two times 
So, and the higher the relative volume, the better, because that means major there's a high percent of people that's actually trading the stock or paying attention to it. And you want to be where everyone is at. You want to be in the playground where everyone is playing. You don't want to be in a position where you're playing in a playground and there's only one to three people that's playing. That's just an example. Over here, when you see relative volume is high like this over three times, and the higher it is, the better. That means there's a high chance of your patterns that you like your bull flag patterns the flat top breakout all of that is going to play out because the relative volume is high so keep that in mind when you have a high relative volume there's a high chance of your patterns playing out and being as strong as possible so always look for high relative volume stocks so these are the criteria i look for too when i look at it visually it looks perfectly fine I come down here, look at the share float, share float low, check. It's one of my criteria. Then I go down to relative volume, 3.8. It's over 2 times 2, check. Another criteria, average volume, high. The higher it is, the better. Check. And this is the volume that it trades the actual day, 16 million check all these other stuff is okay but we don't look at all these criteria market cap you can look at but it's not as important income we don't care about that none of these stuff over here these are just the main thing we pay attention to share float relative volume average volume and the current volume and another thing that I can put you guys on to when you see a lot of green over here, performance week, performance month, performance quarter, performance half year, once you see a lot of green here, it could be one or two red, this is just showing you that the stock is growing, it's performing very well. So when you see this, it's a, a, a check, a green light to say, okay, this stock is really performing very well. And... It doesn't mean to jump in blindly, but it's just to give you a, um, you know, assurance that there are a high percentage of chance that if you do take a trade in this, you will make some good money based on how the the week performance, month. So if its performance is, is looking relatively good, that's a check. So that's really about it. You know, this is what we, we use as traders. And the thing, too, you can even look at the sector and see what sector is, you know, you could go to the map, the heat map, and it shows you a relative of what stocks or how the general market is looking. When you see something like this, basically it's telling you the color, you know, it's green and red and it looks like 50-50. It's showing you, that, showing, you, showing you that the market is generally going sideways, nothing really crazy going on, but if you see a lot of greens, that means the market is going good. If you see a lot of red, that means the market is doing very bad. So you can use this as a visual to say, okay, is the market doing good? And then, you know, if it's green, say yes. If it's like this with 50-50 red and green, majority green and red at the same, it's 50-50. And then if it's totally red, that means the market is not doing as well. Yes, uh, and you also have the groups. You can look at this. But, I mean, I don't really use all this stuff. But if you want, you can look at these um, the sectors and see which one is performing as well. And then click into that sector and then see if there's anything that look eye appealing to you. And you can also tweak the price range on the 10 you can do the float on the 20 million and see what look visually eye appealing and then move on from there. One thing I want to tell you guys, Finviz do have a subscription version and this is a good price and they didn't pay me to promote this. I'm just being very open, transparent and 
the free version give you delayed three to uh, five minutes the elite version give you real time and you know it's up to you if you want to use the the free or the elite version but at the end of the day it gets the job done and that's really about it guys you know if you find any value in this video please like subscribe and share give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.